Hello church, it is Tuesday, April 27th, and I am Pastor Colleen. We continue in the Easter season, spring blossoming all around, even though for a few days last week it felt like winter had settled back in. But regardless, we are in Easter, even on those days we may not feel like we're in Easter. I have a prayer today that speaks to this. It's written by Diane Strickland, who is in her 33rd year as an ordained minister, now serving in the United Church of Canada as retired clergy. Let us pray. Dear God, I don't know if this is anything or not. Your biggest, fattest robin I've ever seen just tapped on my window. She did not fly against the glass by accident, but tapped it with her beak. Didn't imagine it, surely God. She was dusted in your snow, just like I was a few minutes ago outside with the dog. Now that I'm inside and warm, I think she wanted me to see her wearing your snow and yet ripe with your spring. These are precious times, my God. How easily a dust of snow can settle me back into before. Before. It's always leaking into now and grasping after future, too. Before. Before spring. Before new life. Before Easter came to stay. But, oh God, sometimes I don't believe Easter stayed after all. And it doesn't matter why I don't believe because there's always a different way, different why to kick Easter out. But tell me, could it ever be that a ripe robin tapping at my window is truer truth than all these other whys? Is the whole world ripe with Easter even when it is spring and still dusted in snow? My heart says yes, O oh God. Whatever befalls, it is Easter. Amen. Dear church, regardless of the weather, regardless of what is happening in our lives, in our world, sometimes it takes the tapping of a robin on our window to remind us to pay attention and to remember it is Easter. I hope that today you remember the whole world is ripe with Easter. Blessings, church. Please join me tomorrow for a story for the, chi for the kids. For the children at heart, too. You know who you are. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you again.